Hello everyone, this is Fashudo Ron here with another new player video concerning the dreaded Intel OpenGL driver error that stops some of us from using Steam. This is something that is really, really frustrating for some new players, myself included. It took me a very long time to figure out how to get this thing working. And then only because Parsnip, who's an awesome dude, created a really great walkthrough, but it's a little bit technical, totally doable, but I just wanted to, to make a relatively brief video to show you some of the finer points of it. Again, all credit goes to Parsnip. He did an awesome job with this. Uh, he really is to be commended and he's just a great part of the UO Forever community. But here we go. Okay, so if you can run Steam, you don't have this problem. You just turn the video off right now. But if you run Steam and when you run it, you get an error that says that it can't find the Intel OpenGL driver error then this is for you. I tried everything, reinstalls, you name it. I could not get Steam to work. It took literally editing my registry to make it work. And I know that sounds scary, but it's really not as bad as it, as it would first appear. So here we go, here's how you do it. First of all, I'm gonna link this post in the description. This is the walkthrough. Again, all credit to Parsnip. But your first step here is to figure out the name of your driver for this. And the way you do that is you have to open up your device management, which I just, I just do it this way. So you open up your device management and then you find where your um, video card is, your display driver. Okay. Um, so you open up your display drivers and you'll see this is my particular driver on this particular little laptop I play on. So you double click on that. You go to the details tab. In the details tab you scroll down to this right here. Right here. Class G U I D. This is the value of your driver. Now, before you panic, this is, uh, appears to be similar across the board. So you have to keep note of that. It might be worth writing that down, but also it's the same exact number that Parsnip has in his forum post. So there's a possibility that it will be the same thing, okay? Okay, so the next thing you have to do is edit your registry. This is going to sound scary. It's not that scary. So first thing you have to do is go to your registry editor, which is just type in that in your bar here and you'll get to it. Open it up. It looks like this. So you have to then navigate yourself to where the actual path of the, the, the registry entries that are that are telling your computer where to find the drivers, I guess is basically the best way to put it. So here's your path right here. Again, Parsnip, all credit to Parsnip for this. H key local machine, click on that. Then you're gonna click on system. Then you're gonna click on uh, con current control set. Then you're gonna expand the control menu here. Then you're gonna go to class. Click on that, and then you're going to get this awful selection of folders here. But this is where that number you just took note of comes into play. This is the, the number, the details on the driver for the video card. That's the one you're looking for. More than likely, you have to take note of it. It might be different. Mine wasn't than Parsnips. Double click on the 000. And then you have to scroll down in this mess to the names of the two drivers that are giving us problems, which are specifically OpenGL driver name and OpenGL driver name WOW. So if you scroll down, and it's alphabetized, so that makes it a little easier, 
but here they are. Now, this is where mine is gonna look a little different than what yours does. So I've already edited this. My steam is working. So my path is gonna be what the finished product asks it to be. Your path is gonna be something like what uh, Parsnip has here and uh, in the tutorial, like Windows, System32, Driver Store, File Repository, and then the name of the driver. And then for the WoW one, the OpenGL driver name WoW, it's gonna be something like this, okay? So leave the registry open, the registry edit open, and, and we'll come back to that in just a second. Okay, so next you have to start digging into your files a little bit. So here's how you have to do this. You open up your Windows Explorer, looks something like this. Then you need to navigate down to your Windows Drive into Windows. And this is really weird. You have to pay attention to this part because this is where I screwed it up and personally helped me with it. Your C drive used to be called just C drive years ago with Windows. Now it's called Windows C. That's not the Windows drive though. That's just the C drive. And then under Windows, you have to scroll down. You have to open up Windows and then open up further down here. System 32, then open up Driver Store, then open up the IG thing, which is further down here. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff here, in case you were wondering. I missed it. I gotta scroll, scroll back up. There it is. Open that up. And then you have to navigate down to those two files, that IG9ICD64. And let me just do that here. IG9. These are the two things that are causing you trouble right here. So if you hover over it, it'll say OpenGL driver for Intel graphics accelerator. So this is what Steam can't find. So what you need to do is control these guys so you're highlighting them both copy them and now you have to paste them in Windows so you have to go all the way back up in Windows paste it here don't paste it here because that's not where it needs to be paste it in Windows and you'll see here they are that's where you want to leave them we're almost done okay so last step Remember how you left your reg edit open? Okay, you gotta go back to it now. So you're gonna be at this, hopefully you left it open exactly like it was so you don't have to go through all that nonsense scrolling through it again. Here are your two drivers. You have to tell the registry where to look for those two drivers now. So mine's done, so it looks a little different. Yours is gonna look like this. Um, there's going to be a long file name here, a long path. Windows, System32, Driver Store, File Repository. Remember, you just went through all that. So what you have to do is you have to edit that to basically, so you just double click on it, and you have to edit it so it just says that. And you have to do that for both the, the 32 and the 60, 64. Now, once you've done that, it's gonna look something like this. You repeat the process for both the drivers you close the registry editor, you restart your computer, and it should work. You should now be able to run Steam. If you get an error that says can't load the GL driver, it's probably because you put the drivers in the C drive rather than the Windows folder. Okay, so again, all credit to Parsnip. I'm gonna link this particular post in the description. He did the hard work on this, but if you're um, playing on UO forever and you can't get Steam to work, because Steam is great. I love Razer, but Steam is really something special. Uh, you really want to try to be able to play with it. This is how you probably can fix it. I'm also going to link a post to the, um, the forum specifically so you can sort of add in your successes because I think Parsnip would like to keep this um, this thread uh, current. Okay, thanks again and I'll see you guys in game.